My name is Lynn with my partner Steve from the UK. We bought a 300 year old stone farmhouse and olive grove in Abruzzo, Italy that we call Brambletai. Brambletai is situated just outside a small village overlooking the Adriatic Sea and the Maiella National Park. We've taken on the restoration and renovation of Brambletai ourselves to become our future home. We'd love you to come along with us whilst we learn new skills, a new language, live the lifestyle and explore the region with our dog Button. Hello everybody, um, as you can see um, we're in the vegetable garden, uh, Button is doing her thing as normal but I've got a bit of a concern and my concern is if you can remember from vegetable garden part one uh, we revealed that we have a rhubarb plant well this is my rhubarb plant but within the past couple of days this has emerged um, not sure what it was at first and I've got another one down here you can probably see both of them well anyway, I've been doing a bit of research. This plant is only two years old, this rhubarb plant. And from what I can gather, I've got to remove these flower heads because these flower heads are going to actually produce seeds. And what will end up happening is I'll end up with a dead rhubarb plant. And considering uh, many people in Italy don't have rhubarb plants, I'd quite like to save this one. And so would Steve like to have rhubarb crumble at some point, Steve, I would have thought? I would. Yeah, definitely. So, if I get this right, we might have a living rhubarb plant at the end. If I get it wrong, unfortunately, well, we shall see. I might be doing some cremation, burying, whatever. So, I have been told there are two methods of removing these heads. You're probably going to tell me what the best method is um, and if you want to write in please do because I might get more rhubarb heads in the future. So the first method I believe and the better method they're telling me to put my hand as low down as I can this is going to be an amputation of the rhubarb head and I've got to go down and twist as I pull up. Right now there's a lot of water come out of that and I haven't quite got right down to that root. So I'm a bit concerned about that. So if anybody can tell me what I should do there, because that could then be an open wound. So if it's like surgery or anything, what do I do? Do I give it antibiotics? What's the situation? So now I've got to remove the big one. Now will the big one remove better? When I watched it on the video, the lady seemed to remove them quite easily, but I don't know, that wasn't it's easy. It's probably a proper gardener. Oh, she probably is a proper gardener. So, for this one, right, let's have a look. Have I got a twist? Yet again, it's snapped. All right, that's it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's not easy, folks. You might be laughing at me groaning, but I'm still in the twisting motion. Oh. Right, that's that one come out. But look, I haven't pulled out the full root head. So please tell me, what can I do? Can we eat this bit? Can I eat this bit? I have been told I can stick this bit in a vase and we can have some flowers that might seed. So these are the rhubarb heads I've amputated today. So in the vegetable garden at Bramble Tie, we've just done our first amputation. Uh, Steve, don't worry, I won't be amputating anything of yours. No. So, what I now need to know, if you can look down here, I've probably pulled off a baby, which could have been growing nicely, but it's this I'm concerned about, everybody. The rhubarb's got a bit crossed. There's probably more than one plant here now growing. But what do I do here? I know that, uh, you know, some rhubarb plants last for about 10 years. Also, um, it's very, very high in vitamin A and vitamin K, um, which is great for all of us. So 
please write in. Please help me out. What do I do with my rhubarb plant? And I think really that's going to be it for today in the vegetable garden at Bramble Tight. So if you liked it and you've got a lot comments we'd love to hear because I need to know what I should be doing. Um, please subscribe to us, press that like button and ding that bell so therefore you'd get notifications for when I do my next amputation or whatever else I might be doing in the vegetable garden. So from me, from Steve behind the camera and from Button who, if Steve could manage to see her, she is so contented lying in the sun in the middle of the vegetable garden.